The study abroad is very unique because we are kind of in the beginning of the semester and we're here to meet with the local agencies, see what their needs are, and based off of their needs, we're going to go back to the U.S. and try to figure out how we can best solve their problem. Their challenges are flooding, but also being able to store water during the times when they have heavy rain in order to be able to use it when they have the dry seasons for agriculture and other uses. One of our teams worked on a project that is improving their ability to share data, which is a critical aspect of any hydrologic project. Another important need that they have in the Dominican Republic is electricity. And so our projects the last few years have focused on how they can use the water resources that they have in order to develop hydroelectric power. One of the main challenges that we face here in the DR with water resources is the management of water. We don't know how much water we have and how much water we're using. And one of the reasons for that is that we lack the technology. So what we're doing with BYU here is bringing that technology to the local agencies, but not just bringing the technology, we are also trying to teach them how they can use this technology themselves. I am actually originally from the Dominican Republic, so for me to come back here, it's been a great experience and I just think it's great that I get the opportunity to apply what I've learned what I've when, um, while I've been in the United States and come here and use it to help my people. It opens up a bunch of experiences, not just engineering-wise, but you get to experience culture and, and how people live in a different part of the world. This is something that doesn't happen in classrooms. And study abroad is a, a great way, especially for engineers, to take the things that we learn in the classroom and get it going in the real world. This capstone project not only helps students finalize their education, but move beyond that and serve the people in the Dominican Republic with the skills that they've learned.